like saying creative potato. quality oh my gosh Pretty. Well, I gotta do the rest to see how it fits. But I need to clean out first. So that is gonna be our mission right now. No.
It's backwards. fits perfectly looks really cute now i gotta figure out where to put these extra keycaps and it is time to work i've already printed out some stuff so oh it's gonna be a long day
Okay, so do not mind my appearance, my hair is setting, my face is bloated today. So let's talk about these keycaps. Now you will see these keycaps in my next vlog, but when I was working on my next vlog, I realized there wasn't really any time to really concentrate on the talk of the keycaps when I was then recording. So I wanna talk about them now, which is why they get their little special video. This is the first time that I've had like any follower or followers tag me in a product that they thought would match my style and wanted me to also review. There was a couple people who also wanted me to review it because you guys know I love buying from, I believe this one is considered a small shop, but I love buying from them and I love reviewing. Now this is to show no hate to this shop whatsoever. In fact, I did end up talking to the manager at the end of this whole debacle and the manager was really lovely, really nice. We settled like the whole conversation. But because this was my personal experience, I do want to tell you guys about my experience that I had with the process of getting these keycaps. Sorry, my hair clip came out. So anyway, I'll be trying to go down a timeline and then like really summarize this as much as possible. I also wrote notes down here so I wouldn't forget because I am a rambler. So first off, bought these keycaps back in July. End of July, I believe it was July 27th. That's the date that I notated down. I believe it was July 27th. Either way, it was July 20th something, end of July. So I bought them back there and I also, you can go on threads and see. Like when I commented on their thing and I was like, I just bought them, can't wait to get them. Now, to note, I made sure that I went on their website. I went through everything to make sure that I understood the process and even looked at a couple of their cancellation rules, the shipping, the refund policy, all about that. I always love to investigate websites before I buy on them. Highly recommend that always do your research before you buy a product, even if it's from a popular shop. So like I said, originally these keycaps came into my frame when follower tagged me into it and then a couple people was like, yeah, I would love for you to review these because these are like your style. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll review them. I was really excited to get them. I commented, hey, just bought them. Can't wait to really get these. Remember July 27th, I believe that was the day. And then went through all the policies, the process, bam, it was bought. I was waiting for it. I was excited. So this is important to know, but they were in stock keycaps. They were not pre order keycaps because their website said if they are pre-ordered then it takes around two weeks which makes sense. I would guesstimate them to take a little longer if it's a pre-order but again these were in stock keycaps. So the in stock keycaps when you get the invoice it says that they're going to take up to seven days and you you can also see that on their website but because like I know that this shop is making the keycaps and stuff I assume it's going to take a little longer than seven days so I wasn't really tripping. So the seven days go they come I end up waiting actually two weeks I believe around a week and a half or two weeks before I was like well let me get an update because I was super busy and then I was like well I haven't really heard anything about my keycaps let me see what's going on and they really advertise that their customer service is number one they they try to make sure everything goes right they will answer immediately even if you need to hit them up on Instagram they will respond I never did get a response on Instagram when I later messaged them on Instagram so that's something to know I don't know if it's because we solved it by then or what I'm not sure but anyway I contacted to customer service because I wanted to know if there was something wrong with my order or how my order was getting along. The customer service did message back about a day or two later and informed me that there were some issues with a couple of my keycaps. They were misprinted and they were fixing the issue. Then the customer service, Emily, I believe her name was, told me that the following Thursday my order would be shipped out. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for letting me know. I did know I would have preferred that you guys contacted me and told me about this delay and instead of me having to contact you I just feel like customer service wise because that's what I do with my customers if I know that there's a delay or I know that there's an issue I email them and let them know but I was like yeah that's fine come Thursday there was no shipping label there was no notification nothing so I was like uh, let me give them a couple of days to recuperate I gave them the weekend hit them back up when there was no progress. So I followed up with them again and I said, hey, I'm not really seeing my, I'm not seeing my shipping label. I'm not seeing the update. Do we know what's going on? Into which I was informed that my order hadn't even been started. 
to which I was like, you mean started at all? Or, and she was like, there was an influx of orders. And when there's influx of orders, there's going to be a delay in orders. And they hadn't started on my order yet. To which I was confused. So I said, I thought you did start on my order. And there were just a couple of keycaps that were misprinted. That's what I was told last time. I even sent her a screenshot of that conversation. I was like, this is what you said last time. I said, so now I'm getting different information. Is my order going to be done or not? So she just responded with, my order will be shipped out the following Thursday. So... <sighs> I said, okay, I expressed my frustration with the misinformation, but I was like, okay, I will hit you up, hit you guys up again that following Thursday. So now we are in August. Uh, I think this is around middle of August, I believe. So that Thursday comes, nothing, I don't get a notification for anything. I wait over the weekend because I said, well, let me give them some grace. I wait over the weekend, nothing. So I was like, okay, the week after I'm going to hit them up. I was really busy because as you guys know, I'm getting ready for the event i like to get things manufactured super early and then i was also getting ready for my october shop update which is up now but um shameless plug but yeah so i was doing all that and that's when i realized you know yeah this is still past and there's nothing so Ugh. so i hit her back up again oh my god this is choking me so i hit her back up again and i said okay this thursday has passed and i gave you guys extra time what's going on i told myself not to ramble on this part and that's exactly what i did so what i forgot to say was that when i hit her up on about that second thursday she replied to me with the email talking about that my order will be started soon and that they are having a high influx of orders right now and it'll be started soon into which I was confused because I assumed that my order had already been started per what she was saying in the previous emails and only a couple keys were affected. A bit of a correction, I'm actually going back over the emails right now and she technically said your keycap is still being printed and we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. We are working to expedite the printing of your reissue key and estimate that it will be completed next week. So again, the Thursday situation, but it's still confusing because because last I knew it was more than one keycap, so maybe that was just a typo and she meant keycaps but it was still confusing. I'm starting to get a little worried because I did spend a good penny. Now on my threads, I said 90 something and I saw that wrong because this shop is based in Singapore. So the, the dollars were different. That was in their money over there. I checked again and I spent 65 plus tax. I can't remember what that number was altogether. I think it was like 68 or something or close to 70, but in the 60 realm, 65 to $70 on this order. It's a cute, really cute, keycap set as you guys see so i was like okay and of course i'm i'll rather spend a lot of money on a smaller shop than like big manufacturing companies but let's talk about the policies real quick when you go on their website you will see the cancellation policy the shipping policy and then refund policy and if i remember correctly you can only get a refund if you were returning your keycaps cancellation you can't cancel once your order is in progress because they i believe they make these to order or something like that and then shipping policy i can't remember the shipping policy i might put it on the screen but i went through all of those and i realized that it was conflicting with my current situation so i was like so i can't get a refund since my order is in progress right now and it hasn't been shipped out yet but i also can't cancel but on their website as well it also says if you're us based then you need to choose dhl worldwide as your shipping to ensure that your shipping is safe which i was like wait i don't remember that being an option so i made a fake order to see if the option popped up and it didn't so i was like okay dhl worldwide wasn't an option which is typically what i use to ship if i'm buying overseas you know because dhl worldwide i haven't had an issue with that so that's typically the option I, but they didn't have that option so i hit her up again we're at the we're at the end of august beginning of september it was around september 2nd i hit her up again and i said hey there's been no update Day on my order it has been shipped out. i've been told two different dates in both of those dates it was not shipped out nor was i contacted at all during this entire process i've been having to hit you guys up constantly and i just feel like as the company or as the shop you guys should be hitting me up to update me and not the other way around like i'm constantly having to update to hit you guys up for the update and then i told her that i told her that your website says that us-based customers need 
need to be using DHL worldwide, but that wasn't an option. I would have picked that if that was an option because I do like using DHL worldwide. And to which she responded, oh yeah, we don't have that up right now because we were having an issue with the logistics team of DHL worldwide. To which I responded, then you should, I said, you guys should really update your shipping policy and your other policies as well to match the shipping policy. Because if all these options aren't available, you need to be keeping that updated. So I was really, I, I really wasn't trying to come off me in any of my responses to them because I wanted to let them know from one business owner to another shop, it's like, these are the things that you need to do to keep up with your customers and to make sure that they're getting the most accurate information as possible. So I said, this, 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 and this isn't on your website. And you're telling me that these are the issues that isn't posted on your website. Even went on there again to make sure maybe I missed an announcement or something that orders were delayed. There was an influx. There was none of that on the website. So rightfully so, I started getting worried that I spent all this money on a popular shop, but I wasn't getting anything. So I told her I was worried that this was a scam, which no hate to them, but we're two months in, the money went through and I don't have anything and I keep getting different information every time I hit you guys up. So I was like, I really hope this isn't a scam because that would really suck. So she assured me that it wasn't and she even showed me, I will say this, she sent me legit documents showcasing my orders, showcasing the, the shipping that it was going through. And I said, because by then it was September 2nd and I told her, hey, if you guys don't ship out my order now, can you just refund me? I know your refund policy says something different, but we've come to the point where uh, your policies have a lot of things that need to be updated anyway. And I was like, can I just get a refund if you guys aren't gonna ship out my order? And to which she responded, your order will be shipped out tomorrow. <laughs> So tomorrow comes, my order was shipped out. But then I started, I'm not gonna lie, it raised the red flag because again, this wasn't something that was on their shop. It said that my shipping label was created, like she said, but it was based in Illinois. And I know that this shop is based in Singapore. So I said, I hit her up immediately because I thought like maybe this was a mistake or something. And I said, hey, it says that, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be slouching. I was like, hey, it says that my shipping label was created in Illinois but I know you guys are based in Singapore. Is there, was there a mistake or something like that? And she said, oh no, we have a US based fulfillment. What was it? US based fulfillment area or something like that. Team that does the US based orders and we just send them the product and then they ship it off. So they ship, they printed out your shipping label. And I was like, oh, okay. And to which I responded, that's also not on your site. Like you don't say you use a third party. There, that's what it was, a third party. I was like, you don't say that you use a third party to fulfill fill the US based orders I just thought like I'll be getting a ship a label from Singapore you know what I was used to when dealing with overseas shops and then I also told her my frustration with constantly having to be the one to hit them up about these issues and then also there were a couple times where she just didn't reply at all and I had to send like a, a second or third email to be like hey you didn't reply to those emails so it is beginning mid-September beginning September so when I say beginning of September, I mean like the first two weeks or something like that. So the first week of September goes by after I get my shipping label on September the 3rd. A week goes by, there is no update on the shipping label. Nothing has moved. I check in with the, the tracking number into which it's updated and says, it looks like, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like the tracking, as somebody who has to deal with tracking numbers all the time because of my shop, it genuinely looked like my shipping was going back and forth in Illinois. And I was so confused like it will update on September 6th September 7th and it was like your shipping order has been received your order hasn't been received USPS is still waiting for your order your shipping label was moved to the Illinois official facility and then it'll be like the local post office got it it will ship back so I'm confused and I'm like okay I said can you show me proof that like you guys sent it because I, I don't know what's going on with the information I'm really confused and she apologized apologized and was like yeah there's an issue going on with the logistics team in Illinois and they weren't sure why they were like bouncing my stuff back and forth <sighs> so two weeks go by I believe it was two weeks and nothing changed again so I was like okay I went on threads I did a general post to ask both those who followed me and those who just probably hit my post while scrolling what should I do I explained 
explain the situation. I didn't want to come off as mean or anything. So I explained the situation. And I was like, I'm literally trying not to sound like mean or anything like that. I'm not trying to bash the shop. I'm just, I don't want to have to do a charge back because this company isn't giving or the shop isn't giving me my products. I was like, but again, that was like 65 to 70 dollars shoes. And in this, in these times, we need our money. So I was like, what should I do at the explain situation? A couple, the thread was actually really good. It's still up if you want to go see it for some reason, but the thread was really good. A lot of people gave me some deep insight, but overall, everybody was like, you should do a chargeback. It doesn't sound like you're getting your product. And even my family was like, you should do a chargeback. It doesn't sound like you're getting that, sweetie. So I was like, <sighs> yeah so i went ahead with the chargeback and then immediately this was the fastest that the customer service ever responded to me immediately when i did that chargeback a day after emily the customer service age i'm just going based off the signature was like hey we saw the chargeback that you gave is something the matter is something wrong and i was like well i still don't have my product i was like i'm still getting conflicting information from you guys and now i'm getting conflicted information from the usps third party base illinois fulfillment center that you guys have i was like so i just assumed i wasn't getting my product it has been two months a back and forth of misinformation of non-policy updates of me specifically having to hit you up and the only time she herself or any of the customers i'm not sure how many customer service people they have but the only time that she actually hit me up was when i finally got my tracking number and she was like oh just checking in did you get your tracking number that's the only time she hit me up so i was like well you can see how i i just assume i'm just not getting the package it's, it's been like way too long and the conflicting information just doesn't seem like the operation is going well I don't know so she was like it looked like she was about to respond back I can't remember what she said back I'll have to look again I'll put it on the screen if I find it so here is the email on the screen this is the last email that the customer service agent emailed me before I was able to reply because she was kind of emailing back to back and I was trying to answer her original email it was like my my response was really long that's why it took me so long but after this email that she sent that's when the, the manager intercepted so so I'm, I'm not sure like what happened if she saw Emily's email and it was like I need to take over or if she saw my email was like I need to take over it was one of those but I do know that our emails were intercepted by the manager and the manager came and profusely that's the word right profusely use your English degree Danielle apologize for the situation and she was like you are right all of this was our responsibility all of this went wrong on our end and we shouldn't have you going through all this it was nice to feel validated that I wasn't tripping because I second guessed myself a lot and I was like am I seeming mean I don't want to seem mean but she apologized numerous times about the situation that I went through and she was like we're not going to fight the chargeback chargebacks take like just for FYI chargebacks take I'm sorry I didn't mean to have the mic so far chargebacks takes about 90 days Days because they have to go back and forth with the different banks but she told me oh I'm not we're not going to fight the charge back because literally everything that you're talking about you're right we should have updated the policies we should have told we should inform that we use a third-party fulfillment base in there so that US based customers aren't getting confused she was like we should have been the one reaching out to you and everything and I was like then I felt bad because I was like I don't want to get essentially get a free product a free thing a key cast that cost 65 plus dollars you know that made me feel terrible so i know that it looks like they use shopify for their platform but i think there's like a charge bag protection that the sh a shop gets if it shows that the order was successfully delivered and technically the order was successfully delivered so i'm hoping that the charge bag doesn't like go through i can't do anything now because i already put it through so i'm hoping <laughs> because i did i initially didn't want to get a free this wasn't to get a free product or anything like that i really want them to keep the money because the, the outcome is gorgeous it's a beautiful product the keycaps are gorgeous like i showed you guys but yeah that essentially was my <sighs> 
experience um i hope that wasn't too much so i'm just i'm talking about this to show my experience to explain my experience and i know a couple people will really wait it's, it's literally a handful of people who are waiting for me to review the keycaps but i just want to because i like to stay authentic to my audience about any experience that i'm having when i'm when it's coming to getting something that i recommend because you know also my page is about for other small artists who wants to get into setting up their small shop or getting the aesthetics going and stuff like that i want to be honest in my experience and that was my experience with this shop unfortunately i really <laughs> i'm not gonna lie their products are so freaking cute high positive the quality is amazing the keycaps are gorgeous the feel the typing it is beautiful it just sucks the experience that i went through just to get these freaking keycaps and i really hate that i have to say something like negative but i hope the positive that the product is actually unbelievably well done is will also like balance things out but um yeah so i also wanted to share that just in case you guys were thinking about shopping at the, the store it was antidote studio because i want to assure you guys their products are amazing i think they're great so if you do want the keycaps i would if i hadn't had gone through the process that i went through i would say 10 out of 10 recommend however because of my experience i can only get like i like i don't know if you're gonna go through because i know a good majority of my audience is us based i don't know if you're gonna go through the same thing that i went through so i will put their link down below if you want to go ahead and buy if i was just going based off the quality of the keycaps hands down highly recommend i in some way do still recommend the keycaps if you want to go but i will say remember my experience just in case just in case but yeah the keycaps are gorgeous you will see these keycaps on my upcoming vlog and the vlog is going to be surrounding not only a couple things that i'm getting but you know getting ready for the event october 26th so you will see me getting manufactured items keychains getting the freebie stickers getting printing out some stuff to get ready getting i got some signage and stuff manufactured what else well basically getting all the supplies needed for the event it might end up being a two-parter because i did it also includes my trip to chicago that i took so yeah anyway i will see you guys on the next video i hope this video was helpful peace bye guys i like saying creative potato.